So today I want to show you how to make a beehive stand for cheap or maybe even free. So what you're looking at here is a twin or a single old bed frame that my neighbor gave to me for free. I basically sent him a text, said, hey, you got any old bed frame lying around? Sure enough, he did. And the concept is really simple, just a metal frame. These old bed frames have these uh, L L bracket shaped things and then beehives will sit right in them. You have to make some modifications. I'm going to show you how to do that today. But they have something similar online. It's just a little square L bracket metal frame and they want 55 bucks for it. And it holds one hive. This free bed frame, I'm going to customize it and it's going to hold two hives. And if you get a larger one, it can maybe even hold more. And these bed frames are a dime a dozen. You can find them on Craigslist or the internet websites. You can find them on the street. People put them out curbside for the garbage to pick up. Um, or you probably know somebody. Or if you're upgrading your bed, you may have one lying around too. Um, before I moved out here, I had several and I got rid of them and now I'm kind of regretting it. So anyways, um, get your bed frame. You're gonna need your measurements from your hive. I have two types of hives. I have an eight frame hive and I have a 10 frame hive. Um, I'm going to be using my 8 frame hives this year and they are 14 inches wide so I'm going to have to make modifications for this to fit a 14 inch hive. Um, this, the 10 frame I think are 16 or 16 and a quarter something like that I can't remember but anyway so let's get into it I'll show you what we need to do. And So basically this is probably the head of the frame and this is the, the foot over here and uh, it's got these adjustable that came with these little brackets and they uh, they clamp onto these center pieces and hold them together. So basically it's stretched out. These go together and then the bed frame sits in here or the, or the box spring or whatever. But I need to cut this down because I want it to be 14 inches wide. So get to 14 inches, which is right about there. Let me get my hive and put it on here to show you what I'm talking about. So this is just a standard hive box and it's going to go in there just like that. So there you go, 14 inches. It sits in there nice and good. One will go on this side, one will go on that side. Yeah, I have two, two hives in here. So that's the plan. So what we gotta do is we got our measurements. This is 14 inches. These bars obviously aren't gonna connect together using these clamps. They're too long. So I've gotta cut it probably right here. You don't wanna be in the way of this bracket. Cut this one here and this one here. I'm going to put some marks on both ends of these. I'm just going to get a torch and then I'll, I'll grind up all the slag when I'm done. And I'll show you that step too. Alright, so let me get my torch set up and my marks on these and we'll go from there. Alright, I got my torch. Got my torch fired up. And I just put some real, um, you know, just some really gross marks on it. I just used a nail, marked it in the general area that I wanted to cut it. And we're just going to go from there and we're going to torch these off. Uh, yeah, I'm not a professional welder or torch cutter by any means, but I happen to have one. Kind of safety glasses on.
That scared the bejesus out of me. Shoot dang. That's how you know you got a rookie, uh, a rookie with a torch. So we torch those pieces off. Now, in order to get these little pieces here to slide over, I'm going to have to grind all that slag and that, you know, the bubbly molten metal off the tips of these. So I don't think it's going to fit very well without it, but I'm not sure. We're going to do it anyways. So yeah, let's take a look at this. So get the general idea something along those lines and then these clamps go on here to hold it together I think they go on from the I'm hoping they go on from the bottom I forgot how I took them off but we'll figure that out so I left enough room on this to where I can stretch it out to 16 14 16 14 16 depending on what I'm doing but my plan is to get some more bed frames and make some more of these. And uh, if you followed my last year video, one of the main reasons I'm doing this is because what I currently have is inadequate. And I'll take you out there and give you a closer look at what I did. And I have a huge ant problem out here on my homestead. So these have these little feet right here and they're going to work perfect for the cups that I want to put my oil moats in. Set these in oil so ants can't get up onto these frames and into my hives. So, I don't know if you've had to deal with ants, but gosh, they're just, urgh. All right, so yeah, let me get set up for the next step. The grinder hooked up. I'm just gonna go ahead and grind this slag off here so those clamps fit on there, slide on there nice and smooth. So nothing fancy, just grinding these slag off that. Let me show you. This is what I'm talking about. See all that gnarly stuff right there? Just kind of stops the uh, that bracket from sliding over there. So just do a quick little grind job. You don't have to get the edges smooth, just these the, the flat sides, inside and outside. And yeah. So this one's done, one more to go. I'm not gonna bore you with uh, me doing that. See you in a minute. So I got the grinding all done. Let's see if these things go together. Slides right over, right there in the middle. It's 
get my 14 inches over here. That's 15. Okay. up on one on YouTube, you know. 14 and a quarter. So there we go. We're just going to tighten this bracket. Okay. Let's get this side on. Where's my other bracket at? These go a certain way. One goes on the inside, one goes on the outside. I think this one goes on the inside. Yeah, they're designed that way. So, back this out. inches in here. Oh, perfect. And tighten down this bracket. There you have it. Cheap, free, and easy hive stand. This literally took me 10 minutes to make this thing. All right? These nice little feet right here are gonna work out just fine. And if you're out in the field and you're in dirt and you don't want it to sink in, just put a brick under it or something. It's no big deal. This is a little low. Um, you know, if you're getting up there in age like me and you don't want you just have a one level or two level hive, you may want, not want it so low to the ground. Also, if you've got grass or something underneath, um, I'm putting mine on a rock bed, so I have nothing growing there. So, it shouldn't be a problem. But you can raise it up by using bricks or whatever to stand these on. doesn't matter. Let's check it out. Look at that. Perfect. One hive on that end, one hive on that end, entry on that side, entry on the other side. Good to go. Pretty awesome. Get yourself an old used bed frame, make you some beehive stands. Good to go. Shoe dang. Okay, so we're out here at the ant battlefield, the bee yard. And I wanted to show you what I was using last year and why I decided to make something new. And a lot of you probably just don't understand why I'm making these, these stands because you just, you know, put your hives on bricks or pallets or whatever and it's all good. You may live in an area that doesn't have an ant problem, but uh, I'm not that lucky. So I tried several, several ways to combat the ants and nothing ever worked. So what did work was having dams around the feet of the hives and Finding something small enough and protected enough from the rain and the elements and to keep the bees out was pretty difficult. I ended up using this rinky-dink setup here, which I'm going to show you now. Um, show you why I started doing the using the bee, or looking for a new new setup. So originally. And bear with me here. Originally, it was just this hive, or a hive like that, on the 4x4s in the cinder blocks. 
Well, they were just crawling up the cinder blocks and, you know, it just wasn't working out. So I needed to make the dams. And that's where this thing came into play. And I'm gonna show you what's underneath it. Toss all this stuff off. So you with me? All right, let's do this side. Okay, I'm gonna lift this off. Okay. Yep. So, you see these cans right here? These tuna cans, they're filled with oil. And they're full of ants, and they're full of bees. And what I did, I had to make shift this portion here. So this is just like a old door. And I bought these little feet off of Amazon. And they were, these little rubber feet were sitting in those tuna cans in the oil supporting this. So this whole thing with both my hives on it supported on these four feet sitting in tuna cans. Sitting in these tuna cans right here on these four by fours. And when my hives were getting tall, this thing was just, these, the feet were so narrow and the hives were so wide, it was just wobbly. And I was afraid that I was gonna come out here one day and see my hives dumped over. So, you take a look at this in here. Oh, am I in your light? Sorry. Look at that. So I had to put wood in here to set those feet on because the cans were too deep. I mean, it was just, the system was just, pardon me, but it was just rednecked, really. I needed something better, so that's why I got the bed frame. So those bed frame, they have feet that will go down into this, these cans that'd be perfect. Right, and we can get rid of all this system right here. And we'll just start lower. We'll start with the bed frame and the cans. And hopefully we'll have less bee death in my oil. We'll have no ants and we'll have a sturdy rack system. Um, when I added my third hive, kind of the same thing. I did this over here. Same scenario, but this, was, this one was more stable. Move this hive off. Our mild California winters were not kind to my bees this year. So yeah, same idea here, same principle, but I use cinder blocks and a pallet. Now, look at that. Oh, there's water. See, this one did wasn't covered. Man, that smells. Okay. So, why don't you take a look at this pallet right here. So, you can see sideways. See, I just put these long lag bolts into the pallet, into the two by four right here on the pallet for the feet. And those feet were in these cans. Ah, look at that, it's just nasty. The rainwater, you know when water mixes with oil. I actually used, used motor oil in this one. The other ones have cooking oil, vegetable oil. But this one just used motor oil. And the water got in here and just got it nasty. So again, a redneck system really wasn't working out. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a little something. You don't have to spend $55 or more on a, on a hive stand. And those bed frames, you know they're sturdy. They hold the bed, they hold you, your spouse, whoever, kids jumping. They're gonna hold these hives just fine. So yeah, get yourself a bed frame, make yourself a beehive stand. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment if you, if you want. And see you next time.